Prince Harry, 36, returned to the UK to unveil a statue of his mother, Princess Diana, with William at Kensington Palace. At the ceremony, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex turned back the years and were an engaging duo with William leading the way and Harry making guests laugh. A royal expert has since claimed Meghan Markle could join Harry if he returns to the UK. Nine News Royal Correspondent Natalie Oliveri said, There are reports that Prince Harry could be coming back to the UK in just 10 weeks' time in September but this time his wife Meghan could be joining him. It hasnt been confirmed by the palace but this larger celebration is believed to be allowing some of Diana's friends and family to celebrate her life who couldn't attend the statue unveiling on July 1. Because of COVID restrictions that ceremony was very small, it was really just Harry and his uncle and two of their aunties. This larger celebration in September will allow Diana's friends and family to celebrate her life, her 60th birthday and Meghan could join her husband this time. However she will still have two very small children. Archie is just two and baby Lilibet was born on June 4 so it would be nice to see the Duchess of Sussex back on UK soil and it would be nice for Harry to return and spend more time with his brother. There are rumours that his catch-up on Thursday didnt really amount to anything, that the Royal Rift is still going strong. It comes as an expert has suggested the brothers' mirrored body language showed the deeper bonds of love for one another. As they entered the Kensington Palace Garden to unveil the statue of their mother Diana, Princess of Wales, William and Harry strolled side by side and both walked with their left hands touching their stomachs. Body language expert Judy James said of the brothers, whose rift has long been documented, their smiles, when they emerged, were a little bit rigid, but they did emerge side by side. And I think what was more important was that their body language was very mirrored as they arrived, a sort of subliminal bonding. The mirroring would very much show the deeper bonds of love for one another. Describing their mannerisms and interaction, Ms. James added, there was little in the way of anxiety rituals which, considering they were very wary of the fact that people were going to be reading their body language, I think they managed it extremely well. There was no real tension in their posture. Harry fiddled with his wedding ring which is clearly a reference to seeing his family as a source of comfort under pressure. She suggested that Harry put in more effort to make William laugh, but that was typical of the previous appearances in the past. Harry was more energetic. I think he was maybe putting in a little more effort to make William laugh. He was a bit more animated. He threw probably more glances at William. But that's very much how their relationship always was in the good old days.